I'm going to show you how to set up the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K step by step. Out of the box, you get the manual, you get the TV stick itself, you get a remote with two AAA batteries, you get a wall adapter, charging cable, as well as a HDMI extender, which you may or may not need. First, let's insert the batteries into the remote. Grab the power cord and the micro HDMI, the smaller one, plug that into the fire stick. And the other side of the USB-A, you want to go ahead and plug that into the wall adapter. Now, you can probably go ahead and try to plug it into the back of your TV in your USB port, but you may have problems doing like software updates and so on, but you can give it a try if you wish. But anyway, safer bet is going like this. And you may or may not need the HDMI extender. I'm just going to go ahead and use it myself. Now let's plug this into the wall outlet. So the next thing is go ahead and plug plug the uh, the stick into the HDMI port in the back of your TV. Also, I want to note that you can use this. It could be a um, it could be a non-smart TV. It could be a smart TV. It can be it can even be a computer monitor as long as it has the HDMI port. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Now turn on your TV and then you want to go to the correct HDMI. Okay, if you look on your remote. There may be a button that says like input or source, or it may look something like this, like this little plug right there. So I guess mine's on HMI3 because that's the only one that's highlighted. So let me select on that right there. Okay, now this message here pops up here and it's trying to pair your remote. If you're if you're if it doesn't get paired automatically, just press and hold that uh, home button for like 10 seconds, okay? Let me see if mine's paired. Oh, mine's not even paired. Okay, I'm gonna press and hold that. Uh, button. Oh, wait a minute. Press pause, play pause to start. So let me go ahead and see if that works. Okay, I didn't have to pair it. But if you can't do that, then just press and hold that uh, home button for 10 seconds to pair it. So from here, go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with English. It's restarting now. Installing an update. Just be patient here. Okay, finally, so now from here, you can go ahead and sign into your account or you can create an account if you wish, it's free. But I already have an account, so I'm gonna to go to have an account to sign in. Now you can sign in with a QR code or you can sign in online. So you can go to your computer or go to your phone. I'll just do this one here. I have an iPhone here, I'm just gonna open up my Safari, I'm just going to type in that website, amazon.com front slash code. So I just signed it to my account and now it's asking me for this code down here. Enter device code, so let me type that in. Okay, and let's tap on continue. Then this pops up here and I will tap on connect. So device connect account, TV's already rolling now. Successfully registered. This account is registered me, so that's correct. So I'm going to go with continue. It gives me the option to restore Fire TV because I have several Fire TVs. However, because of this video, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to start from the very beginning. TV, Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Okay, let's click on OK. Apple TV plus ad. For me, I'm not interested. I'm going to go with no thanks. Here's some more ads for me. No thanks. But you can play Fortnite and more. That's pretty cool on the Fire TV. There's another ad here. I'm not interested in this, so I'm just gonna go down to no thanks. Choose your streaming services. You can always go not thanks and then um, add the apps that you want later, or you can do some of it now. We'll just go ahead and do some of it now. So let's get started here. And let's see here. Well, I do have a subscription with Disney Plus. I have one with Hulu as well. And then I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna to move to the right. None of those, I'll move to the right. No, I'll move to the right. No. And then we'll just go down and continue, I guess, right there. And then it'll add these ads, but I'll show you in the video how to add more apps, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and finish right there. Choose your screen saver, that's up to you. I'm just gonna go with the stock, it's fine for me. Set up purchase and parental controls. You probably wanna go ahead and set up a pin uh, just so that nobody can go on your TV and start like buying videos and uh, movies and stuff like that. So for me, I'm fine with just the always on and I'm not I don't care about the parental controls on the second one. So I'm just going to go continue here and I'll just make a pin here. All right. Enter it one more time. 
to confirm. Okay, it's five digits. Okay, welcome to Fire TV. Redo that and click on got it. And voila, we are in business. You can add a profile, another profile if you wish, but if you log in, I'll show you how to add other apps as well. Okay, so we're all set up and I'll show you how to um, add like other apps. I want to put Max on here for subscription with. So let's go to the home page here and go all the way over to the three squares and a plus right there. Let's select on that. And then from here, we're just going to go all the way down to app library, select that. And then we can just go to search over there on the left. Let's move over to the left. And then we can do a search here. I'm going to do a search for Max. Okay, so Max. It used to be called HBO Max, but now it's just Max. There it is. So let me go ahead and select on that. And I'm just going to download app only. Let's see it downloading. It's installing now. Okay, so it is now installed. Now what I want is that um, the Max app. I want it on my favorites row here, okay? So for me to put Max on this favorites row, I'm going to go back to the three squares and the plus sign right there. Now I'm going to find Max. It should be here somewhere. There it is right there. And then highlight it, and then you want to click on the three lines on the remote. And then we can go down to Move. It's already highlighted. Let's select that. And now let's just move it up. See, we can put it right next to Netflix, right there, right there, and let's click on the home button, and voila, pretty simple.